What's up everyone and welcome to my vlog. That's blog but with a V, mom. What's up everyone? We're here at LAX heading to uh, Purdue University to start the first rotation. So here we go. Oh, what's up? Everyone knows that I am a fourth year student at Western U and this year I wanted to start something new and, and take you guys on my journey as I visit a lot of veterinary hospitals across the US as I finish my fourth year. Now at Western we have a very unique curriculum. It's a very untraditional vet school, but we'll talk about that in, in another vlog. But today we're here at Purdue University. This was my first rotation of fourth year and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've done. So here at Purdue, I am studying clinical pathology for the next month. Um, so what is clinical pathology? Clinical pathology is basically where you focus on finding a diagnosis based on the lab work that the clinician has provided. So basically, clinical, clinical pathologists look at CBCs, chemistries, urinalysis, blood gases, cytologies, if the pet has any lumps or bumps and you do an FNA. Um, the clinical pathologist can look at all of this stuff under the microscope and hopefully give you a diagnosis. So clinical pathology, how is this rotation set up? So basically we, we worked in the clinical pathology office every day where the consultations would come in from the various specialists within the vet school but also from veterinarians outside of the vet school. And the pathologists will go over all of the cases. Um, they would write the cases up and then sometimes hand the cases to us and get us to diagnose it. And if we didn't know how, we would sit and talk through it. We also went through a two hour lecture every day with some of the Purdue students. Um, and that's where we covered a lot of the basics and fundamentals of ClinPath and cytology and all of that. Um, so it was a really good learning experience. It was really cool to kind of see how, our, how Western teaches us to do ClinPath versus how Purdue teaches their students to do ClinPath. Um, you know, it, it really opens your eyes and shows you that there's, there's more ways than one um, to do things. So as we go throughout fourth year, we're gonna learn a lot of things about traveling and living out of a suitcase. Um, I don't have a house this year because every single month I'm moving to a different state, to a different hospital. And so I'm basically just living out of Airbnbs and hotels. It's sort of exciting, but I'm already finding there's problems, especially when you're in an area that doesn't have the best public transportation, such as West Lafayette. Um, they do have a city bus system. It doesn't run that often, but so we do catch the bus every day. Um, but it's, it's a little hard to time your schedule because we have to be out of the clinic by 5 or 5.30 if we want to catch the bus on time to make it home. If not, we can pay for the one or two Uber drivers that they have in town for the summer. Um, but yeah, so throughout this year, we're going to talk about some pros and cons of traveling um, for rotations. But to be honest, this rotation was pretty chill. Um, our schedule was only from 9 to 5, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, but my classmate and I, uh, we would go into the library at 7.30 every morning and we would study for our national boards for an hour and a half every day just to make ourselves feel like we're doing something. Um, but yeah, pretty chill schedule for this rotation. Which brings up my next point. Having fun throughout vet school is a must. You, you must have a perfect like work-life balance um, and I definitely make sure we do that and so one of the fun things about traveling this fourth year is that I get to see a lot of new places that I've never been which cues this next part of the vlog which shows we got to go up to Chicago for the first time. I've never been and it was a lot of fun. Um, we also got to go out with some of the Purdue vet students and have fun with that. Some people I know through Instagram, Dr. Christie, and a lot of other friends that I know here at Purdue. And so 
yeah, it's really important that you get to go out. You go on this river tour right here that we're doing. Um, it was a lot of fun to learn about the architecture and the history of Chicago. Um, and then also we, of course, we went to see the bean or the cloud, whatever they call it. Um, we got to do that. We did a lot of sightseeing, a lot of eating. Um, and then we went out to have fun at night. So I want to stress this to you guys. If you're a pre-vet student or if you're a vet student, be sure to take time out in your schedule and have fun. Um, it, it's totally okay to, to spend a full day and not study. I, I actually recommend that. That's what I've done basically since I started vet school. I would take one day out of the entire week and not do anything. Trust me, I feel guilty every time I do that, but it's good for your mental health. So I'm excited for you guys to join this journey as I go throughout. I'm heading back to LA um, for my next rotation, which is in small animal emergency and critical care. So I'll show you a lot of some fun stuff that we do in LA and maybe give you a glimpse inside the hospital. That's gonna be the only downside to me showing you everything this year is Unfortunately, I'm a student. I don't hold much authority and so I can't go in and just video stuff in cases that we do. But I'll try my best to show you guys and thank you guys for watching my first vlog. This is very awkward. Uh, I had to do this like 10 times, but we'll learn. Thanks. Stay tuned, the next vlog we're gonna have is gonna talk about the curriculum here at Western U. I get a lot of prospective vet students asking about the curriculum and I love to talk about it. And so stay tuned, be sure to subscribe in the button, there should be a button down there somewhere. Be sure to subscribe to that. Tell your mom and them, thank you guys so much for the support. Peace out.